Yo, what's up guys? So for those of you who don't know, there was a hot fix the other day that apparently fixed the Ford armor and the Gazelle armor. Um, they basically upped the Ford armor from 45 to 65 and the Gazelle from 45 to 65 also. And because in my last video, the Paca armor did better than the Ford armor with the snipers. I have, I have no idea. So yeah, I guess they fixed it and we're going to be testing that. I have all three ammo types there with the stats if you did not know i'll leave a link in the description to the ammo charts but basically we're gonna be testing it again um i, I basically just tested the ford arm and the gazelle armor because and the alton helmet because you'll, you'll see all right guys so starting off with 7n1 ammo and uh basically in the last video i only used snb on the ford armor because there was a problem with it and i didn't want to waste my time because i knew they were going to fix it and they, they fixed it, in my opinion. Um, they changed it, right? Because before, the armor just felt like it was not registering so something. Something was wrong. Um, I, there's a lot of calculations that go into the armor, more than we know about. And as you can see, it took two shots there with 7N1. The first shot only did one point of damage to his chest. And then as the armor was uh, damaged because of how much damage the 7N1 bullet does, it then penetrated with the next shot and one-shot him in the chest. He had about 79 points of health left, and it still one-shot him with a bullet that does 76 damage. That's because of the fragmentation chance that basically adds on to the original flesh damage. Anyways, on to the next clip using LPS GZH ammo. I'm not sure why he has night vision on. I just wanted to make this clip look as ridiculous as possible. But yeah, this is a middle grade ammo. It actually has more armor pen than the 7N1 at 55 armor pen. Although, it took three shots to kill him. Now, as you see, the first shot, it kind of nicked him. The second shot went through into his chest, and the third shot blacked out his chest and killed him. Now, I'm not sure if that's intended. Maybe if this was the 7N1 ammo, and I, I promise you, I did not get my ammo confused chat. That is, I'm pretty good about that. But I guess that's the fragmentation chance that we got with the 7N1 ammo, which resulted in the two shot, because how could a bullet with less pen be better at armor piercing, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we are here in hell for a change of scenery, and I'm using the SNB armor piercing ammo for this one. Now, in the last time I did this with the bugged armor, it actually one-shot the Ford armor. Now, I, I, I think they fixed the bug, but I will say from my experience, Ford armor still seems a tad weak. Um, I... Devs, take a look. Anyways, he's got his arms up, so I don't hit him in the arms, but... As you see, it did not one-shot him, and it left him with 22 points of health. And the second shot went right through. Yeah. Now, I think this is perfect, right? I, I, maybe every sniper bullet should two-shot every time, or have it so that the 7N1 and the LPS three-shot to make the armor-piercing ammo actually have a purpose, you know? Because I have a feeling you could probably get two shots with the LPS. Also, that was just some weird chance factor, I'd assume. I don't really like the chance factor, but it's just what the devs want, I guess. Anyways, on to this part where he's wearing a plate carrier and forward armor. Now, for those of you who don't know the plate carrier, it actually is a level 3 body armor with 22 or 25 points of health. And it's just like a vest. It goes over the armor, but it stacks the armor, right? So we're going to shoot him in the chest to see if we get a difference. Now, I will say, I'll just spoiler alert you, there wasn't a difference in time to kill. Um, the first shot completely blacked out the vest. And it also damaged the Ford armor like halfway, and then the second shot just went right through. Now, maybe that's intended, I don't know. I, I have a feeling armor's still not as strong as maybe even the devs want it to be, just because Ford armor is so hard to get. And after doing these tests, I wanted to do like a little factory run, you know, just a normal factory run. And that was the quickest I have ever died with Ford armor in all the five wipes I've played through. And Ford armor is, in my opinion, at one of the hardest points it's gotten to to get, except the dog tag trade up, which they really need to take out because five man squads can farm that now very easily. I just wanted to throw in my two cents about the dog tag trade ups for armor. It does not seem right that a five man squad no. could farm party? dog tags in about 10 minutes to buy unlimited fort armor. That's a little broken. Anyways, we're using the gazelle armor there. I was using seven and one ammo and it one shot him. Now in the patch, they actually upped the gazelle from 45 to 65, which is a nice buff for it. This gazelle armor is actually the hardest armor to get in the game. Um, you have to complete all of Ragman's 17 quests to get, unlock it. I haven't even unlocked it yet. That was a repaired gazelle armor after the one shot to prove 
the fragmentation chance to you guys. Um, basically, any vest will two shot or one shot, except forward armor. I don't think you could one shot the forward armor at the moment. But yeah, we're testing the helmet that Lord Tashanka himself wore when he conquered the lands of Tarkov, aka the Alton helmet. Anyways, <laughs> in the last video, um, the 7 and 1 ammo, which is what I'm using right now, it took two shots to go through, which I don't know if that's accurate, like realistic, right? I don't want, I hate the term realistic. I like the term authentic. I think that's a much better terminology to use when describing Escape from Tarkov because you cannot heal a broken leg with painkillers. Anyways, it one-shot him in the Elton Helmet, as I think it should. Um, I have a feeling that even the DVL rounds are going to one-shot him. Now, that was with the 7N1 ammo, so that means that every other 7.62x54 ammo will penetrate the helmet, as the 7N1 has the lowest penetration out of the, the three. But yeah, I, j I wanted to test it again to make sure like if that was just some crazy luck, but two times in a row on brand new Alton helmets, it one-tapped him. Those were the new Alton helmets with 95 durability. They actually upped the visor from 30 to 50, and they kept the helmet the same. Um, I didn't really see that in the patch notes, but yeah, they did that. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. That was I only tested the vest that they changed, and after I saw that the gazelle armor took one or two shots, that means that Paka armor is going to be one-shotable, and the UN armor is going to be where you're going to be getting either one or two. But yeah, these are just some of my favorite sniper kills I got with the 20 SV-98s I had from the last video. I got a bit more, so don't come to factory in two days when I get my insurance returns back. I wasn't joking when I said it the first time. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed these clips. They were only some of the few, some of the many squad wipes I got with it. I, I don't know how I pulled off what I did, but yeah. Oh, anyways, guys, hopefully you liked the video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you did not like it, and subscribe if you want to see more content.